My name is John, I bet Judy's um, quite apprehensive of actually letting me speak in front of her podcast. But anyway, I'm here to talk about creativity in just seven minutes. And you might be thinking, okay, how can we possibly talk about creativity in seven minutes? One of the things I really hate, and I hear this a lot from mathematics teachers, is that I'm not creative. I can't come up with these creative things. And this really annoys me because creativity isn't something you are. You aren't a creative person. Creativity is something that you do. Okay? Creativity is a process. And everyone here can be creative, can have creative class, can do creative things. Everybody isn't innately creative or uncreative. And this is what I want to highlight in my talk. We need to actually work that creativity muscle, actually do the creative things. Now, it's all well and good for me to just come up here and say, okay, do creative instead of be creative without actually me actually giving you something in order to do that. How? How can I actually do creative? I'm going to give you three things here. Number one, I'm going to tell you how you can learn about creativity. Number two, I'm going to actually give you the real meat of my presentation. I'll come to that in a minute. And number three, I'm going to uh, actually talk about inspiration, which is incredibly important when we talk about creativity. But step one is to actually learn about creativity. Do a PD, read a book, watch a video. Actually learning about creativity is probably the first step that you need in order to actually do the whole creative process, in order to do creativity. Teach Like a Pie is my favourite teaching book in the whole world. It teaches a lot of things, talks about passion, talks about failing in order to succeed. But one thing it talks about is creativity. Okay? And some of the things I'm talking about actually comes from the book. It's the one teaching book outside uh, Mel and Goose's book that I suggest that you all get. Okay? It is a fantastic book. It is inspiring uh, by Dave Burgess, really cool guy. Has a who's heard of TED? Okay, a lot of people, TED is a great place to learn about things. We've got absolutely inspirational and amazing speakers speaking about a whole range of things. There's actually a playlist there. It's over two hours long full of uh, Amazing, inspirational people talking about creativity. It's called Creative Spark, and I suggest that everyone actually looks that up. And I'll be putting it up on my Twitter account um, a bit later so you can actually get there. Step two, and this is the meat thing. Ask the right questions. In order to do creativity, you need to ask yourself questions. By asking yourself the right questions, you can start doing amazing creative things, or even little creative things. Something that adds depth to the classroom. Something that actually gets the students engaged. Something that makes the students remember your class, your lesson. Something that they will talk about years to come. Can I incorporate movement into this lesson? Maybe I can teach transformations through dancing. Um, can I get my class outside for this lesson? Maybe I can get my class outside to measure trees using trigonometry. It's something I um, did just a few weeks ago. A lot of fun, we made our own clinometers. Maybe you can think about other ways you can actually get your class outside for the lesson. Can we create human graphs, charts, maps or equations? Can we actually get the students to actually create the graphs with their entire bodies, with their arms? What songs have lyrics that relate to this lesson? Um, if you know Seasons of Love from Rent, 525,600 minutes. How many minutes in a year? Okay, perfect for time. And there's so many out there. Maybe... Can I allow my student to create songs or raps that demonstrate their understanding? I'm sick of tests. So sick of tests. Everyone who's a teacher is sick of giving the students tests. Do something different in order to demonstrate their understanding, to, in order to assess it. It doesn't need to be marked, but it gives the students an outlet. Can I show my students why this is important in the real world? Okay, this is incredibly important. How can I do that? Maybe I can use percentages to get the best deal. Okay, I'm sure a lot of students would like to know that. What aspect of current pop culture can I use in my lesson? Okay, maybe I can use memes. Maybe I can use memes to teach content. Maybe I can get the students to create memes. There's a lot of um, cool memes out there. It's current pop culture that I think we will actually all know. Can I decorate the walls, the ceiling, or the floor? Can I make my classroom slightly different? Can I put posters of the grass around? Maybe I can do something even more creative. What comes up when I ask myself that question? Can I just put a QR code on the board and see what <laughs> happens? Maybe the QR code will link to an interesting site. Maybe it will link to a video. Maybe it will link to a, like a whole series of things that the students can discover some sort of mathematical concept from. Can I use mime techniques and gestures to get my points across? 
Maybe we can play maths charades. Who knows what this is? Excuse me. It's a hyperbole, guys. <laughs> wow, wow. Very disappointing. Um, can they send on a scavenger hunt um, through your content? May I've seen equations scavenger hunt that you can just find online. An equation scavenger hunt where you put equations and answers, but the different equations and different answers. You put them all across the classroom, or even all across the school. And once a student finds an answer for that equation, they get a new equation. They have to find an answer for that one, and find an answer for that one. And they go across the whole classroom, or the whole school, doing a scavenger hunt. Can I use the concept of SAMR to use technology in my lesson? Can I substitute? Can I augment? Can I modify? Or can I even redefine my entire lesson to use technology? Okay, and Google some because it's a really important concept to all teaching. You should write down your favourite questions. Questions that you hear, questions you come to yourself, and ask yourself these questions when you want to be creative, when you want to do creative. Okay, and again, the Teach Like a Pirate book actually has over 100 questions you can ask yourself in order to do the creative. Finally, inspiration. Okay, the best way to do the creative thing is by being inspired. Um, Pinterest. Okay. Um, find a Pinterest board that has a lot of cool things. A lot of cool maths teachers out there, or a lot of cool teachers out there who have Pinterest boards with interesting things. Maybe you can then share the things that you find on your Pinterest board. Twitter, seriously, everyone needs to get on Twitter. There are so many inspiring teachers. There's Norden, there's Sylvia, there's Eddie. Um, people that actually inspire me with what they actually say on Twitter. And there's so many people out there. Okay, so just everyone gets on Twitter. At least follow Ms. Anderson. <laughs> um, teach me, okay. Teach me is a great uh, little PD and so inspirational. Short, two minute, seven minute talks. They're free, they're convenient, they're fun. Look up TM City. So, I want you to actually go up there and sort of being creative. I want you to do creative. Thank you. I'm Jake. <laughs>